Hey friends, I am beyond excited today because my sunshine is here. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. <laughs> uh, and this is like one of my favorite fa frames, Jack. You can find it at the store and put you and your grandchild's picture on it. Uh-oh, uh let's see. My arms are so short, Jack. So, <laughs> I'm gonna try to help you with this recipe and talk okay. at the same time, and it may be hard for you, Gimme, to do that. Right. Because um, I feel like many grandmothers out there will know what I'm talking about. You know, you love every one of your grandchildren, every one of them, but grandmama, that very first grandchild, it's so special. It is so, so special to know that your child has produced part of himself into another child. Yeah, you might introduce him because people oh, may not <laughs> recognize him. I know. Look, look, y'all. Look how much taller he is than me now. Uh, this is Jack, my eldest grandson. He's 14 years old. He is going to be a freshman in high school. But so anyway, there is just something very, very special about that first grandchild. You know, you remember the doctor coming out and saying, hey, Paula, would you like to meet your first grandchild? Yes, please, and thank you. <laughs> um, I didn't get to hold you, but I got to touch you and look at you, and you were so beautiful. Uh, so now today, y'all, I have 11. I have 10 more grandchildren. Yeah. But I can remember his birthday. I can remember everything about it. When you get 11, I'm having a hard time remembering That's everybody's it. birthday <laughs> or even their age. I get so confused. Me too. Because Maddie, Sullivan, Jack, he, uh, no, Henry, and John, they're all about the same age, so yeah. I get it confused. Uh, but they, they love playing together. In fact, one, two, three, four, four of my other grandsons are out in the swimming pool while I got Jack working. <laughs> if you have any more grandchildren, you won't be able to count on your fingers. Honey. I know, what, well, like I have to do it like this. Because <laughs> I got 11. It's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. It is crazy. That's why I'm having to expand the rooms at Dogwood mm -hmm. so we can all sit down and have a meal together. But Jack has been at camp for two weeks. His first time ever going to uh, uh, a, spend the night camp. An, a, yep. Yes, a spend the night camp. And it was for two weeks. Mm -hmm. I don't know who it was the hardest on, his mama or his daddy or his guinea. <laughs> So I want you to start with day one. Telling me everything you did. What was your favorite part? What did you learn? What? Oh, you want me to tell them what we're making? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we are doing some light dishes today, y'all. We're actually doing a, a recipe from Cuts the Fat. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna cut a little bit of the fat uh, because it's summer, it's hot, and you know, you just uh, don't want to eat so terribly heavy. Yep. All right, so I'm just cutting these zoo, two zucchinis in half, Jack. Okay. And now we're going to scoop them out. Uh, use yeah, use, use, or you can use a smaller spoon, whatever you, whatever you right. like, sonny boy. Right. I've got one that's smaller, if you like this size, and just hold it over your bowl, hold it over your bowl, and just start like this, you see where the seed part is, yes, and just come around, in fact it might not be a bad idea to take your knife and kind of cut out where you want to go. And then just scoop, scoop. Nice. How are you coming? It's going good. So just good. leave that uh, outside part. Yes, yes, because see, these are going to be 
All right, the official recipe is called Paula Dean Cuts the Fat Zucchini Boats with Tomato Rice and Olives. So that's the official name, Jack. And see, then you want to take your spoon and just kind of finish pulling out those seeds right. like that. Okay, so we got it, Sonny Boy. Uh, who, who dropped you off over here today? Um, well, my dad came and dropped me off. He had to go get a haircut, so oh, just okay. dropped me off for a little while. Good. So, your very first day at camp. Yes. Did you ever get homesick? Well, I missed... And you can say no. You oh, can no. say no. I it's never okay. got homesick. I didn't miss my family a couple of times. Just wish uh -huh. I could see them. Uh -huh. But I never got too homesick that I was upset or anything. Oh, I was good. Just, I was, <laughs> they kind of kept us too busy to be able to... I was going to say, when did you have time to get homesick? Yeah. So, what was your favorite game. activity? Favorite activity. So, at uh, after dinner, uh -huh. they would have uh, all like everyone would go crazy and start screaming. And explain and, your dining room to me. Oh, so the dining room it was just like uh, every cabin, which is how they separated the age groups. Uh huh. Uh, we all sat by where okay. we slept and who we slept. Okay, with. but did the whole camp sit in one cafeteria? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we so it was separate. everybody. Yeah. So it was a lot of people, and one one guy would run out with a with a mountain biking helmet on and start screaming, and the entire dining room would just erupt, and everyone would start uh -huh. going crazy, uh -huh. <laughs> perfect, and, and, Jack, just, and perfect. screaming, and um, and then he jumped down, and then he'd tell us what game we're playing that night, and uh, it was a it was a different game every night for the two weeks I was there, but my favorite one was called Sock War. Where we all took off our socks and, and uh dirty socks. Yeah, our dirty, dirty socks, socks in the day. Because this was the end of the day. We played dodgeball with them, so <laughs> that was my favorite. And did you uh, take them off and tuck them together so you'd have a uh, nice ball? Well, me and my friends, we we got like four of our socks and put them inside <laughs> each other and then wet it to make it even better. You had a real weapon. We did. <laughs> Don't mess around with the All eating right. activity. Did anybody get hurt or did you see anybody cry? No. I mean, there are some little kids who would who would get homesick, but yeah, other than that. Because they, it's young. Yeah, they're young it's like kids. You some, wanna brush these with all like six hole, maybe? The, the the inside right there? Uh -huh. just brush yeah. that whole top. Sit down, so But there's some six year olds mm. there and it mm -hmm. goes to um I believe it goes to eleventh grade if you're old. If you're okay, young enough, perfect. it's sixteen. Thank you. Sixteen year olds. All right. Well, so what's I was the right youngest? in the middle. What's the youngest? Uh, there, I saw some like six year olds there. It was crazy. And when I was that young, I would have never. I would have died. No, can you imagine at six, leaving your mom and daddy for two weeks? Mm -hmm. No. I couldn't have done that in seventh grade, or <laughs> last year. I don't think I could have. Really? I, so I would see these kids and I'd be like. How are you surviving? Because I wouldn't have been e even able to put my pants on the right way without my parents at that age. So. so did you wind up helping some of the younger boys? Yeah, I, I did make, they I did make some help. friends with the younger boys, you know, help, you them, did. Uh -huh. help them get all their stuff straight. Because this was a Christian camp, wasn't it? Yes, ma'am, it was. So did y'all have like... Um, like revive not revival meetings but mm -hmm. did y'all have church any church we had a have church on sunday at chapel okay. on every okay. day which okay. was after breakfast every day uh -huh. and um on sunday it was longer but we we just got to um sing songs all together and oops and um a different counselor would come up and preach every morning so um, it was always was like, there it was any always counselors you can match that up with that yeah. baby was there any counselors that you were not like crazy about, real fond of? No, they were all, they were all They're like all... 19, 20, 21. So it was all just like Such a really, fun age. really fun, really fun people to be around. Yeah. And they're all, you know, really nice. And uh, always we just yeah, trying to help us have the best time. If you want to try to use that knife mm -hmm. and just cut it like you would some meat. So I'm going to open your... It the wrong way. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, do you like black olives? Um, I'm, I've never really tried olives. I've always really? kind of been scared of the smell when I was younger. So mm. 
Never tried. Oh, Guinea's, Guinea's getting so Guinea's weak. <laughs> so weak. Well, uh, here, taste taste a little bit of that. Your Uncle Bobby could eat one quart of olives right now and then drink the juice. That is pretty good. That's not bad. Okay, so we can put it in. Yep, put that in. Oh, that just tastes like. These are ripe olives. Mm -hmm. And um, the ones that Uncle Bobby likes is the green ones. The, oh, yeah, the green ones yeah. is what I see. Yeah. yeah. We're going to add your rice. Yep. Which, <clears throat> excuse me, rice is a carb. So oh. it's got some calories, but it's <laughs> so much so many calories less yeah. than uh, if this was fried with bacon or yeah. something like that. So you can just stir that up, baby. Okay. I've got two tablespoons of tomato sauce. And we're going to put in two tablespoons of, excuse me, of our chopped olives. Right. And then we're going to Put in our mozzarella cheese, okay. and then we'll have a little bit more. Uh, I'll get out a little bit more to have for our toppings, and I'm gonna chop some basil. This basil is beautiful. Teresa, did you grow this basil? Yes, well, it is beautiful. It smells like oh, there's so nothing sweet. like it, is it? Oh my gosh! It just makes you want to just bite into it. Mm. So we're gonna bake this, all yes, the rice baby. and stuff inside the. Yes, and uh, you know where we're gonna do this today? Where? In the air fryer because it is so brutally hot. I don't want to turn on that big oven because I'm already sweating like a banshee. Whatever a banshee is, that's what I'm sweating like. <laughs> do you know what a banshee is? Um. No. I don't either. <laughs> okay, right, so let uh huh. So let's give it a little taste and see if it needs. Does it need more salt? Maybe a little, little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get our oh. house seasoning if and I can find it. How do you think should I, I should add any salt? What, baby? How much salt do you think? Oh, you're adding house seasoning. Yeah. Oh, nice. You want to just shake, 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 or you want me to do it? You can do it. I want it too much. All right. Let's stir that up and see. If that gave it a little something, something. I think if you don't tell me. Yeah, he won't. Because this is, I'm not going to mm -hmm. put much. Like that much. Yes. So let's taste it and see if, if you can tell. Me. I don't think my little brother Matthew wanted hot sauce in his, but I don't think he'll notice. That's it. I don't think so either because I put so, so little. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can't even taste it. Well, maybe I can put taste it more. a little bit. No. <laughs> no. Mmm. <laughs> That's our secret. <laughs> All right, doll baby, we're gonna come down here. Yep. I'm gonna drop some basil. We're gonna come down here and just pack. Pack that in oh. our zucchini. And I'm gonna get okay. some more. I'm gonna get out some more cheese. For the top. Let's see, I got so much cheese. Yeah. Look good, Jim? Yes. I have to say, so Jack can't listen to what I'm fixing to say, but Jack is so very smart. He takes after his grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to take off your shoes, son, because it's fixed to get deep. <laughs> the poo poo. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Jack is, <laughs> he is so incredibly smart. And he, 
to me, I'm, it's just, he's one of those kids that you're just so proud of uh, because when it comes to decision making, he always makes the right decision. And Thank I you, applaud man. you. Thank I you, applaud man. you. No, were the uh, zucchini was it cooked already, or is it fresh? No, it's it's just fresh. fresh really? You know, if you wanted to, you could uh, blanch it. Let's see. Brush the cut sides, the uncut cut side down on a rim plate. Bake for 13 minutes. Oh, guess what, Jack? What? I hadn't made this recipe in so long. We got to bake these. All right. All right. Good job. <laughs> you know, thank you, Eddie. I am very excited about being with Jack. So I'm not paying too much attention to my recipe. So y'all, please forgive me. But, right. but I got stars in my eyes this morning. <laughs> got stars in my eyes. I'm, I'm gonna have to start reading the recipe before I pick up the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how old is that book? <laughs> it's been out a long time. All right, so Jack, I told you we were gonna put these in the air fryer because it's just too hot to turn that big oven. So we're gonna place this skin side down All right. in the microwave and it says to cook it for 13 minutes. But let's put a little salt on these two before we, before we put them in because that zucchini has, there you go. Really do it. Y'all are not big salt eaters at your house. Uh, right? Well, I love salt. I like to eat it plain, but my <laughs> but my parents never let me have any salt. <laughs> never? I mean, they do, but like not as much as I'd like. Oh, okay. I'm a big fan well, of salt. Well, you're at grandma's, <laughs> so. <laughs> you know, when, when um, your grandchildren are around, it's very hard to find that word, that little word, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's very hard to find. All right, so Jack, yes, we're putting these, and remember we sprayed them. Yeah. So we're putting these face down in our air fryer, and it said to bake for 13 minutes. So this air fryer cooks much faster. So I'm gonna put it on 400. 13 minutes, and we'll All just right. have to keep an eye on it, okay? Okay. So, thank you, Eddie. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Easter Bunny. <laughs> okay, Eddie, thank you so much, because these things would not have been edible. <laughs> that would have been as hard as my arteries. <laughs> so, we don't want that. So, I've actually let them cool just a minute. So now, Jack, let's think about, uh, I wish I had a regular ice cream scoop. Mm -hmm. You know, one that, this would be, yeah, the flip one. but let's this see if be. this will help you. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. You do it any way you want to, baby. All right, probably stick with the spoon. Okay, I think you would be good <laughs> to stick with the spoon. Okay, so let's sit them back in here in the air fryer, and I'll do this because that air fryer is hot. I don't want you to burn yourself because those sides get so hot where it bakes. Mm -hmm. They're working out perfect in this air fryer. You know, they, they're nice and tucked in so they won't fly all over the place. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna lower, we're gonna lower our temperature of this go around because that 13 minutes, I mean, it cooked it good. So we've got some mozzarella to top them with, but you know how if you put your cheese on like top of macaroni or something, it gets hard. I don't want it to do that. So let's go ahead and cook these. Now tell me one more time how long, what the recipe says on the second cooking. Um, 
Uh, 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. It should probably take At what time. temperature? Because they said lower. They said. I said. <laughs> I said to lower it. Um, no, it just says bake until the cheese is melted. Oh, 350. There it is. Okay, so that means I'm going to put this on um, 325 because it cooks. And for how many minutes? Um, 10, 10 to 15. Okay. So I've got it on 325 in 10 minutes. So if you were cooking in, in the oven, what would be the well, this recipe, same, same temperatures? This of. recipe was tested in a regular oven. So it, I'd go by exactly what the recipe says. <laughs> Jack, do you know what, son? When Jack was a baby. He was probably maybe a year and a half old. And I was holding you and trying to get you to be still to be in my arms. And uh, you were going through this stage where you were biting. And you bit my arm right here and I still have that scar. And every time I notice it, I rub it and think about those two little teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no, you probably had four by then. Probably had four teeth. I'm sorry, 13 years late. <laughs> no, no, no. I would take anything for that little bite mark. That's my crown. <laughs> okay, baby cakes. We're gonna get this cleaned up. All right. Mm, that rice is so good with that basil. How many do we have here today? We've got four. Five. Henry's looking for the candy bar. Henry? Henry's not for a candy bar that doesn't exist. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jack thought I wanted to get, wanted to get the kids outside so we could finish our recipe. <laughs> so Jack yes. told Henry I hid a Hershey bar out in the yard and whoever finds it first gets to keep it. And Henry <laughs> flew out the door. And of course, there's no candy bar out there. <laughs> well, I love my glasses on you, Sally Wally. <laughs> Guess what's done, guys? Stylish. <laughs> so, so everyone's here waiting to try Whoa, the zucchini, right? Zucchini, Sully, zucchini. <laughs> Yum. No, no, thank you. Oh, I'm not amazing. hungry. Y'all, 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 please want to try it, right? Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Oh, yeah. They want to try it. Oh, All right. Yeah, that's what do you think? awesome it does look awesome you know what oh, I, I need my I need my spatula oh look I said it right that time you said I call it a spatula because that's what it is it's a spatula it's a spatula that I can't find anywhere it was right there okay Jack <laughs> They've gotten real soft now, so. Oh my goodness. This and a steak or a piece of roasted chicken. So, how about that? We'll start with a half one, okay? All right. Okay, look, here we go. Let's see what you did today. Bon Appetit. Very good. <laughs> bon Appetit. Is it not too hot for you? Mm. No, it's not hot. That's really good. It's pretty hot. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. I love zucchini. Me too. Henry, you want a bite of this? Come on. Are you sure? Come taste. Did you find that candy bar? You did. Where did Where you find it? it? Don't eat it. <laughs> you want a bite, John? Yeah, sure. 
I'm not white. Yummy. Uh -huh. It is yummy. What is it? Zucchini? Zucchini so with good. rice and cheese. Mmm. Isn't that delicious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, good. I'm, that is a sign of approval, Jack. I think we. I think we did it good. Whoops. Oh, I dropped mm -mm. it. Mmm. Mmm. Yum, right? Very good. <laughs> You want another bite, Sally? I'm not hungry. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> we got quite a few approvals, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. It's the keeper, y'all. Yep. Cut the fat with Paula Dean and Jack Dean. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.